Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you on how to create your own custom Amazon machine image that is AMI from an EC2 instance. Basically, what is an AMI? An AMI contains all the information necessary to boot an Amazon EC2 instance with your custom software. Essentially, an AMI is a virtual machine template that can define custom software, standard system packages, or any files required by the virtual machine. Creating your own AMI is an essential practice if you plan to build an infrastructure that utilizes EC2 auto-scaling groups. So if you do not know what is auto-scaling groups, do not worry right now. We will be covering that in the later part of the videos. Okay. So AWS auto-scaling groups require self-configurable instances in order to automatically scale up or down to match your application requirements. Your AMI serves as the basic unit of the deployment, enabling the auto-scaling group to dynamically boot new custom instances as you need them. Okay, so AMIs can be backed by Amazon Elastic Block Storage, that is EBS volumes or instant store volumes. So when an EC2 is launched using an EBS backed AMI, the root volume for the instance is created by using an EBS snapshot. All right. So when an instance is launched using an e instant store backed AMI, the root volume is created using a template that is stored in Amazon S3. So in this video, what I'm going to do, I'll demonstrate on how to create an AMI from custom EC2 instance that has the Nginx web server installed. Okay. So these are the topics that we are going to look into it. So storage, compute, high availability, Amazon web services, right? So these are the topics that are covered and all the commands that I'm going to use in this particular lecture is here documented. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I'll drop this link to the GitHub page into the description box below. You can also start using them. All right. So now let's start building our own custom AMI from an EC2 instance. Okay, let's head over to the Amazon console and start building it. So as, as I told you, so we are going to create a custom AMI and this is my Amazon console. So to create a custom AMI, so what I have selected is to use Amazon EC2 instance. So you can search for EC2, select virtual servers in the cloud. Now, if you see there are zero instances that are running. So let's create a new EC2 instance, click on launch instance, give this, an, uh, give this instance a name. I'll give, uh, instance to create AMI all right so I missed this here okay so instanced instance to create AMI is the name of the instance that I'm giving all right so I'll go with Amazon Linux AMI so this is the base AMI that I'm selecting okay so I'm okay with this one and 64 bit architecture is fine for me and t2.micro is fine all right so if you have uh, any other uh, type of instance you can also go with that all right so i'm i'm uh, restricting myself to go under free tier okay so i'm selecting t2.micro go with the key pair if you have already go with the one that you already have or you can also create a new key pair Okay, so this is used to log into this EC2 instance. Okay, so uh, we are I'm I'm going with the default uh, VPC that we have. We, uh, do not worry if you do not know what is VPC and all right now. So I'm going with the default VPC, and the subnet is I, I'm I'm saying that I don't have any preferences right now. So I'll go with no preference. Then firewall or you uh, you call that as security groups in AWS. So I'm creating a new security group and allowing SSH traffic from here from anywhere. All right. So I'm okay. I'm good with this uh, storage. 
8 GB and GB2 version. All right. So I'll go with launch instance. Let us view the instance. So it might take a couple of minutes to change the instance state from pending to running and also the status check 2 by 2 pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this uh, recording and I'll come back once the instance state changes to running and the status change to 2 by 2 passed. All right. Now if you see the instance state has been changed to running and also the status check has been passed. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is to connect to this EC2 instance. OK, so if you check this EC2 instance and there is an option to connect. So click on that. So I'm going to use EC2 instance connect method. So click on connect at the bottom. So what this instance connect will do is will it will open up a terminal in your web console itself. So if you see this has opened a terminal here itself. OK, so if you see this icon, that means you have successfully logged into that EC2 instance. OK, so as I previously told, I've documented all the commands that are needed here. So let us go step by step. First, let me log in as a root user. So to do that, I'll take sudo hyphen su sudo su hyphen paste that enter. So now I'm a sudo user super user. OK, so let me clear my screen again. The next step is to update the system. So the command to update is yum update hyphen y. OK, so if there is any update to the system, you can run this command and it will load the updates. So if you see there are no uh, updates as of now, so uh, no, nothing to update. If there is any update, it will go ahead and download all the packages that are required. OK, so the next thing is to install Nginx. So one more thing, one more update. So if you are using Amazon Linux 2 machine, so it comes with a separate package. So that comes. So you need to run this particular command instead of installing Linux. So instead of using install Nginx, you need to go with this command sudo Amazon Linux extras install Nginx one. So this is where so Amazon has stored this Nginx server there. OK, so let me copy this command. I'll make sure to edit this file and add it here so that you can also use the same command from the next time. OK, so hit enter. So basically it will download if you see install Nginx, it is installing Nginx. So is it OK? So it is asking for the confirmation. I will give yes. So it will go ahead and install it. OK, so I think everything is installed right now. So let me check. So if we have the uh, Nginx service up and running first, let me check the status. OK, so the command is systemctl status Nginx dot service. OK, so let me hit enter. Now, if you see the status is inactive, right? So that means it is not active right now. So let me clear the screen once again and start the service first. OK, so the command to start is sudo service nginx start. OK, let me copy that and paste it here. So now if you see this has been started. So let's check if it is working fine now. So you run the same command system CTL status nginx service. Now if you see it is active and running and it started nine seconds ago. All right. So this is how you install nginx on your EC2 instance. But to make sure you convert this EC2 instance to an Amazon machine image, there is one important step that you need to follow. All right. So let me go back to EC2 instance. Select the EC2 instance that you have where you have installed that Nginx. OK, Nginx server. So here, if you see in the actions action section, there is an option called image and template. So click on that. If you click on that, you will see create image option. So click on create image. 
okay so here you need to fill some basic details okay so image name what is the image that you want to give so i'll say custom image ec2 because i created this image by ec2 right so i'm going to give this name you can also copy and paste the same name for the description also if you see this one it is by default selecting ebs that means this is backed by ebs volume so the image is backed by ebs volume okay so these are the details that you need to give and uh, tags if you want you can give the tag if, if not it is optional as it is there so if you can click on create image so what it will do it will take the snapshot of that ebs volume and the ami will be created an image will be created so where to check whether your image has been created or not so here in the left hand section you have under images you have an option called amis right so if you click on that so right now i created an amazon machine image this is the image id and what this is if you remember this is the name that i gave uh, custom image ec2 and this is the source i am the owner owner means the account number and visibility this is private the status is still pending that means it is still uh, you no know, taking time to create this image creation date time and the platform what is the root device type ebs if you see if you remember uh, it was ebs backed uh, custom Im image so that is why it is showing ebs and these are all the details that it will provide so after a couple of time what it will happen so the status of this will change to available okay so once the status is uh, changed you can uh, do whatever you want you can create a new ec2 instance out of this one that comes with pre-installed nginx on that so right now if you see we created an instance and we launched uh, we connected to that EC2 instance and then we installed Nginx, right? So whenever you create the instance next time by using this AMI that we have just created, it will by default comes with the Nginx installed. Okay, so this is the basic use of Amazon machine image and how to create a custom image. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create an EC2 instance by the Amazon machine image that we have created. Okay, stay tuned for that. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it among your friends. Thank you.